Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this session we are going to learn about the RTF template in Oracle Fusion, the most important concept in Oracle Fusion. So before we go and see how do we create our RTF template in our Oracle Fusion application, uh, let me give you a quick uh, overview or introduction for uh, uh, this RTF template. So here is the introduction for the RTF template. Basically, RTF stands for uh, rich text format. This is basically the full form of uh, RTF. It stands for rich text format. So it's, it is a specification used by common word processing applications such as Microsoft Word. So what will happen in this one when we are going to create our RTF template, we need to in, uh, download and install an additional plugin that is a BI publisher plugin that embeds with our MS Office and then we can generate our template. Uh, so I will uh, leave a link uh, for uh, how to download uh, this uh, BIP plugin in, in the description box. So you can go there and download this plugin and you can create your RTF template. RTF template uh, basically is, uh, it is a file type option that you select. So what will happen when we install uh, this plugin uh, in our MS Office? So when, uh, when we open our uh, MS Word file, so this option is available over there and uh, uh, along with this option, we have multiple uh, uh, file type options available like we have uh, RTF as well. We have uh, PDF1, Excel, PPT, uh, HTML format. So multiple file type options are available over there. We can select uh, any one of them and we can represent our uh, uh, report or template in that particular format in which we want to display. So. Uh, so the template builder is tightly integrated with our MS Office and enable us to perform uh, multiple functionalities like we can insert data fields in our uh, RTF template. We can insert tables, forms, charts, graphs, whatever representation we want to include in our RTF template. We can uh, include it with the help of this template builder and then after uh, um, inserting and performing all kind of edit, edit editing in our template, we can uh, uh, have a facility to preview uh, the output for our template. So uh, this is uh, basically the introduction of uh, RTF template. So now we are going to move on to our instance and see how do we create our uh, RTF template. So here I have an, a requirement document with me which uh, basically which enable us or facilitate us uh, to get an idea uh, so that we can easily create our template. So we, ha we have to create an RTF template that contains the assignment details. So this is basically our concern. Uh, we are going to create uh, the assignment details uh, uh, report for uh, this one and then firstly we have to create a data model and then after creating data model we have to export that data then um, that particular data basically is in the form of xml and then we uh, we load that xml data in our word and we can create our uh, template so let me show you how our uh, RTF template will look like after the creation for this one. So this is basically my uh, RTF template which contains uh, an organization logo uh, and then its name. We have the website information over here and then we have the heading for this one which is basically the assignment details and then we have the uh, tabular representation for our data which is for assignment details. So this is basically the template which we are going to design in our today's session. So let's move on to the instance and see how do we create this one. This is basically my instance home page and we have to reach out to our uh, BI server in order to create the data model. So we just have to click on this browse catalog option which will redirect us to the BI server where we can perform all kind of data modeling and report related reports related task. And here 
and basically i am in my destination folder which is under shared custom my data and we have uh, another folder which is my data that contains today's date now i am going to select or create one data model so here we have to go there and select sql query we have to provide the data set name over here we have to select the data source as i have already told you in our previous session that we have to select the source so i am going to uh, create my data model for hcm so i am going to select hcm over here and here i have prepared my sql query so just i am going to select it copy it paste it over here so this is basically the query which is going to fetch the person number assignment number assignment name then we have person full name and then we have our tables information from where all these uh, columns will going to fetch so these are basically the tables for all people f for all assignments m and per person names f and then we have certain conditions over here like um, like we have the assignment type for e the assignment type will going to contain only e and we have the primary flag over here which contains y and we have some date related information so and we have the this is basically our query so i am just going to execute this one so click on okay so here my query has been successfully executed as you can see uh, and when i click on view data and then view so that i will be able to view some data right now it is displaying only five rows so when i click on more number of rows so that it will display that particular number of rows when i click on table view so here is the table view and if you notice under a query i have provided one condition where row num is less than equal to 10 so that i have selected over here five row, uh, 50 rows but still i'll be able to see only 10 rows because i have uh, specified this condition that uh, row num is less than equal to 10 so that we'll be able to see only 10 number of rows although i have provided 50 over here but it will going to display only 10 as we had provided in the condition in the query so this is basically our data model let's save this one select the destination folder where you want to keep it provide the uh, appropriate name assignment details dm stands for data model and here we can see our data model has been saved over here now the next step is to click on this export option so here the xml data has been uh, downloaded so let me just open this one here is my xml data now the next step is i am going to open one blank word document and here so i have already installed download and installed my bip plugin so if you notice over here we have an uh, uh, option or tab available over here which is bi publisher when i click on it so basically these are the options and this is basically the plugin which i had already installed i will leave a link for this one in the description box so you can easily download this one 
now the next step is we have to load our sample data so before we um, load our sample data firstly we uh, have to uh, prepare our uh, headers and uh, some uh, logos and uh, website information and all so in order to do so firstly i have to go to the insert tab and then i will select a table over here and then i will click on insert option as here i have to insert the logo this is my logo select it so here you can see i have prepared my header uh, which contains the organization logo its name and its website information now the next step is to just to go to this insert option and so here i have uh, provided the heading for this particular uh, report which is assignment details report now the next step is to load the sample data so when i click on this bi publisher tab and here we have an option called sample xml data when i click on it and i have to go to download as i have already downloaded my xml data here it is which i have just downloaded it or exported it click on ok so here we get one confirmation that data loaded successfully click on ok then now the next step is to insert the table wizard click on it and here we have um, multiple option so whatever option we want to opt for we can select it and i'm going and continuing with the table one click on ok next here we have all the columns which uh, we had executed in our query so i'm just going to select all and i'm just going to shift the full name up over here person number full name assignment number and assignment name click on next then next and if you want to perform any kind of sorting let's suppose i want to sort my uh, data person number and in, it's in the descending order click on finish so here we can see our uh, table has been inserted over here so let me select this one and i just want to uh, divide it in the sentence case so here i have renamed all the headers for the table now the next step is i don't want to fill any color over here let's suppose
and text color I want to keep it as so here I have done with uh, all my formatting one more thing I want to uh, do over here as I don't want to uh, display the table uh, header border over here so I just have to select it and here under design option we have an option borders click on it and uh, click select no border so that the border has got disabled from here now the next step is just go to bi publisher and click on this we have uh, I have discussed about the file type option in my introduction part. So these are basically the file type option over here, PDF, HTML, Excel, RTF and PowerPoint. So I'm going to select this RTF one. So it will going to ask me to save this one. So I'm just going to save it as assignment. Details. RTF report click on save so here this this is basically our report which we have just created right now so this is how we can uh, create our RTF template in Oracle Fusion uh, firstly, we have to install the plugin and then we have to create data model, export our data in the XML and then we have to load that XML in our uh, MS Word and then we can perform the respective task. This is basically in the creation of RTF template and all about our today's session. If you have any question regarding this one, please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com. We'll continue in our upcoming session. Thank you, everyone.